30 of you guys. What the hell? How's everyone doing tonight? Man. Let's get this Friday Night Live going. Maybe give it another, like, I'd say five minutes. Let's, no, 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 no. Let's do it. Let's do two minutes. Two minutes on the dot. Let's go. Oh, oh, and I must say, we got a bunch of new stuff. Bunch of new stuff. I'm happy to share with you guys this fantastic evening. Oh, and if you guys haven't hit that like button yet, give your boy, give your boy a thumbs up. It helps. <laughs> Let's get this going. Oh. Oh my, Cameron, with the super chat, 199. Dude, what is going on? How's everyone just freaking doing tonight? Oh man, there was a lot of stuff that happened today. Jamie, JRW released his brand new cheat sheet pro, which is like the most badass valet tray slash dump tray organizer. Look at how clean this thing is. Damn. Okay, let's say hi to everyone. There's 30 of you guys already. Man, you guys are starting to enjoy this. Wyatt, subscribing. What's up? Mackenzie, Cameron, wife of Maximo. <laughs> Danielle in the house. Welcome. Oh my gosh. She is the first person that has subscribed into the community, the, the special subscription there. So I, I guess I'm going to see her chat first. Welcome. Okay, Cameron again, Nathan, Banana. Let's see. We, yeah, we got a lot of you guys. Holy shit, you guys are blowing it up. Jordan, I see you. We also got this in. This is the brand new che Chevalier, Chevalier from Savivi. Literally just unbox this thing and cut a few things. But is this, is this the thing that kills the Malibu? Like. What? What? Yeah, uh, maybe so. Maybe so. I mean, like 14, 14C, 30AN, 20AN. Jesus, man. This thing is sick. It's not released yet. And it's pretty badass. Let me change this music. I'm not really digging this. This is like, no. Whoa. Okay. Nah. Nah. There we go. So VV is unreal. Love their knife system, y'all. Yeah, this thing is insane. We also have, I don't even know what this thing is called. I have to go look at the box again. <laughs> this thing is super crazy. Look at that insane recurve. I guess I just wanted uh, the green micarta. It's interesting because these two are supposed to be green micarta and they're different tones. But I'm I'm actually really liking this. Nitro V Steel. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Shit. And then we got the new Praxis in. So this is the wood. Kaborsha. Kaborsha, if someone wants to correct me. Kaborsha wood. Super clean. Okay, let's let's focus on the chat. <laughs> uh brief rook says I want Cameron. It's because you just joined. Yep, uh, I guess so. Sheep's foot conspirator. Uh, let me show you the difference. Where's my conspirator? Brigades in the house. What's up, dude? Um, conspirator, and then where did the chevalier go? There it is. Um, in total length, they're very similar. Can I can I bump this up a little bit here? Uh, let's let's bump this up to like 500 ISO. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. There you guys. What the hell? There we go. 
So I don't know. I'm I'm still really liking the conspirator. Still haven't posted a review yet. If you guys want to see that, hit that like button. Um let's see. Cameron says, I like your hair. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh let's see here. Life of Maximo, can I have a free knife? If you enter the 200 k giveaway, then maybe. Because it has to be a fair shot for everyone, right? Right, chat? Okay. Um Brigade says, yeah, a little bit slimmer. Yep, absolutely. And B clan, I have a 15 and one knife. Are you talking about like a leatherman? Oh, what what do you mean, man? Um, show fat man that pouch. <sighs> fat man's adventure. Uh, this is the loadout for this week. Yep. And then do I have anything in here? I, yeah, this thing is loaded to the brim. We've got the Zerk big idea designs, mini bolt action pen. Uh, we've got the Prometheus QR beta V2, the uh, TMP tiebreaker run five, and then the eight bit, of course. So that's, that's what's inside the pouch. Oh, and then of course, boom right we've shown these in other videos if you guys have never seen them there you go camera says bye okay peace out bro peace out uh let's see elijah what's up you know says got my edm re reads in today love them thank you again of course of course v uh v1.5 are on the way and they're going to be very similar to jamie's so they're going to be all black I'm super hyped for that. What knife is in the thumbnail? That would be this guy right here. So we were just showing it off. And this is the new che Chevalier. God, I'm, I'm going to suck saying this thing. The Chevalier. Well, is there like a good size comparison I can show you guys? Uh, Do I have like a bug out here? Let's just show you the banter. Banter next to the Chevalier. So it is more of a uh, mid-sized knife. You could consider it a large knife. I don't have the exact specs on me, but yeah, this is, just came in today. Um, I got to mess around with the prototype at Blade Texas, but this is the full production version. Has a fuller, cut through fuller, if you guys can even see that. If I have to like block my eyes, there we go. Which is pretty cool. Holy cow, you guys are just going insane um alex says lock picks are a good add-on okay your local <laughs> correct idea hey what's up um brigade says i'm producing some carbon fiber or carbon fiber nux here soon bruce hook a homie up dude i saw i saw that carbon i saw that. if you're making some nux shit send one my way Oh my gosh, are we buffering again? No. Um, let's see. What are some OTF switchblades with opening actions that can pierce paper for under a thousand dollars? You're gonna need a single action OTF. We are giving away a Microtech Macora once we hit 200, which I probably should get on that video like ASAP. Um Savivi Cavalier versus Demco. Chevalier? Chevalier. Caval Chevalier, I think, is what you meant. And I would definitely go for the Demco. The 8020.5 is just a lot better. Like, I, I don't even know, man. Nothing beats that. Nothing beats that shark lock mechanism. Just saying. Man, this music is still way too loud for me. I know it's not very loud for you guys, but um, is there like some, let's go, let's go back to this. We're going to go to my playlists and we're just going to chill. There we go. Okay. Ah, <sighs> so much better. So much easier to talk to because I have to like stay up with that beat. It's hard. <laughs> the cream puff is back. So I asked this eight in the last stream in the last stream but not like this so is all types of ozark trail outdoor equipment gear knives and sharp objects any good or is it all bad it is a terrible idea don't do it don't do it dude 
Ozark Trail, like just garbage. It is absolute trash. Um, Jayden in the house. What up, Brandon? Just listening while using power tools. There you go. Whataburger Q is back too. Damn, what is your favorite knife website? Blade Ops. I gotta stay true to the homies over at Blade Ops. They're they're solid. That's why I would recommend. It. Um freaking awesome person is the is the giveaway still going on? What giveaway? What, what are we what are we talking about? What do we, we got a giveaway? Maybe. Um, your local correct idiot. That is a dumb ass question. Don't don't even ask that, man. Just just don't. Wyatt, what's your favorite knife? Uh, I'd be this guy right here. As the anthem, the Benchmade anthem is just too damn good. Batman's adventure dropped the chance. Great. <laughs> I don't even know, guys. Uh, do you have an autocrat? Since is it? cabin no my brother has an autocrat i gifted him an autocrat okay um we also got this in i don't know if you guys saw that in photos uh this is the ray lights something i can't remember the actual mall number but it's got this like really dim mode super dim can you guys even see that yeah it's like insanely dim and then it gets up to like 650 lumens. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is it's pretty bright. So Cameron again with the 199 super chat. What what is your deal, man? Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. And then boom, right there. Very cool, man. Um you can actually attach a chat to it. <laughs> okay. Cream Puff says Benchmade knives are good. Yep, yep. Benchmade is awesome. And then Quinaroon, now that camera is awesome, what is it? Um. Oh, now that camera is awesome. That's how you meant to say it. That is my Canon R6. So, uh, Fat Man's Adventures, Mark H in the house, but Fat Man's Adventures says Raylight Pineapple. Have you ever tried the Pineapple Mini? Nope. I've never, never tried it, but it might be worth a shot. Why it says so bright. Cameron says, I just love you, dude. I love you too, man. I love you too, bro. So um, this is the actual knife I was carrying today. I want to see what's inside your guys' pockets. Let me know in the chat right now what you guys were carrying. So this is my Sabenza 31 with the Micarta inlay S45VN. This thing is huge it's ginormous and i kind of regret selling my spencer 31 small but it is what it is big knives don't bother me as much you know like even this is considered pretty big um okay let's see here where can i buy flashlights that can turn light today what do you uh, ebay Amazon, Olight, the Marauder 2, Marauder 3, if they have that now. Batman's Adventure, gotta go now. Stay sharp. Peace out, bro. Have a good one. Tanner says, Protec Mordax. To what question? Um, Life of Maximo, have you ever gotten a butterfly knife or any type of knife from Mexico? Because I have a butter butterfly knife. Nope, no knives from Mexico over here, my friend. No knives from Mexico. Um, me with knives in the house. What's up? What's up? Okay. And uh, did we miss someone? I, I don't know. We're, you guys are going ham in the chats tonight. Jesus. Whew. Joseph says, I got my Nkosi Tonto. Dude. That's what I'm talking about. I love my Tonto Nkosi. And I actually don't know where it went. So... Yeah, if you guys are looking for a badass dump tray, Jamie had made this badass dump tray. They're on pre-order right now. And basically how it works is you can like set, you can set your flashlight there. Let's see, we can put like, oh shit. <laughs> we can put our KPL in there. You got like a pen holder. You can fit like your knife. If you have like a piece of pocket art, 
and it all fits right here. And then you can also throw on some like screws. If you're taking apart something, you can throw your pen up into this bitch like that. Damn. You guys should definitely go check him out. Definitely. I think he's closing pre-orders in a couple weeks, maybe a week. We'll see. Okay. You with knives, two appearances in one day. What's up, dude? What do you mean? Well, when was my first appearance? Uh, appearance with uh, Ray, or what do you mean? Um, let's see. Temper Ma Mao. I know this is supposed to be about knives, but what mic are you using? This is the Blue Spark SL. Do you, do you guys like the sound of it? We can, we can even uh, make it a little bit more. A little bit more tasty. A little bit more tasty. Here at Tri-State EDC. Oh shit, dude. I need to I need to go put this a little bit further away. It's not supposed to be right in front of you. It's supposed to be in like a little bit more forward. So you can reach things, but not like tip over things, you know. Tanner says, What is your grail? Bro, it's coming in tomorrow morning. I'm so hyped, man. I am so fucking hyped. It is going to be the. Okay, there we go. Yep, you guys heard it on this live stream. My new grill is here. Well, it's, it's almost here. It's in it's in Salt Lake, but they still need to deliver it. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, camera says, do you have the OTF carbon to show on camera? What OTF carbon are you talking about? What are you talking about? Jeez, there's so many things on this desk. It's like unbelievable. Okay. I have a very cool OTF right here. It's brand new. Like literally brand new, like the newest OTF from Microtech. We showed this in the last stream. And this is, I'm going to put these down because they're too close. Okay. This is the signature series, Microtech Macora. It has two edges, black blade. Whew, this, thing, this thing is, this thing is spicy. It's got this really nice grip on there too. People like OTFs and guess what? We're not giving away this exact variant. We're going to be giving away um, a Makora though. So this is the signature series. This one's like seven, $800. The other one is still going to be, you know, like 400, $500, but it has a satin blade instead of the black blade. So that is going to be the 200 K giveaway grand prize. And then we're also doing some stuff from we they're sending out three knives, two Civivis, one Wii. And then some we swag we got refined hooking it up with a few pens there's gonna be a lot of prizes so just saying 200k cheers guys cheers boom got some cream soda in this kevin what are you about what do you what do you even mean bro god just chill out Zach Carr with the $2 super chat. Who are you, man? I love you. Thanks for the two bucks, bro. Toxic Patch Co. in the hizzle. Zach, are you behind Toxic Patch Co.? What? He's the dude that made these then. I believe. Yeah. Boom. Oh, oh, man. We got to work on something, bro. We, we got to work on something spicy. That I am. Dude, I don't even understand how you make these patches, but they're pretty damn good. Um, just saying, we got we got to do something. Hit me up in the DMs. And I want to start like a new series. <laughs> something that's going to be, uh, you know, an everyday minimalist exclusive, I guess. Maybe. Let's see. Ethan says, about to order a black Ultra Tech with double edge bronze blade. Hell yes. That sounds awesome. I'm missing a lot of these. Um, Got to get H2O. Well, says tactical cream puff. Go for it. Do I have a Damascus knife? I sure do. And it's my Benchmade 601 Tengu that's sitting there in the back. 
<laughs> Cameron says, can I get can I get it since I have two super chats? Um, I don't think I can give you a knife for two super chats, but I'll make it fair and even for everyone. All you gotta do is wait for that giveaway video to go live. Once we break 200, gents, it's coming. It's coming your way. Um, Darren says, yo, you can relax. I'm here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tanner says, how's your bell song? skills coming from. they're terrible man they're they're horrid they're horrid speaking of bala songs do you guys know who flight titanium is this is a brand new one and i couldn't show you guys until the 15th which is today holy mother i totally just broke this oh my gosh it's brand new it needs to be broken in there we go um I forgot, I forgot that I could show you guys this today. It's so lightweight. The thing about this bell song is it's on bearings, which is kind of weird. Um, but it's from Flytanium. If you guys want to hear this, <laughs> let's see here. Um, okay. Danielle says, I've never been more tempted to buy a knife since seeing your video on that Jack Wolf knife. I, I mean, if you really enjoyed it, um, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's a nice knife. It's a really damn good slip joint. And that's supposed to be a pew pew stock, right? The handle is very very sharp it's literally like one of the sharpest knives in my collection if not the sharpest knife in my collection but um check out my other knife reviews <laughs> uh let's see why it says what's your butterfly knife and i love the butterfly knife what's my but i i don't own a live edge one this is a loner from blade ops they're gonna get a few of these in this is the Flytanium Ball Song. Is there a name on this? Let's see. The Tala Song. It's literally called the Tala Song. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how expensive they're going to be, but um, I can't imagine them to be that crazy. I don't know. A lot of you guys seem to want me to get into Bollies. So I, I should probably just take out my trainer. Hang on. my trainer i have no idea what happened to it oh it's probably upstairs it's probably upstairs we got this weird ass knife in too can anyone tell me if they know what this is <laughs> it's so beefy it is absolutely enormous like where's a big knife here here's my so ben's a large this thing is a fucking tank man it's a tank and it is the Wooks Legenda. It's kind it's kind of expensive. I'm not gonna lie, but you do have some carbon inlays, some wood scales. It's a little thick in the hands. <laughs> but I think this thing was built for more so bushcraft. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Um Elijah says, Do you trade sell buy? Yes. I'm gonna start selling a bunch of my knives. Um, to the private patreon if you guys are in the patreon join it you guys will get exclusive access to early bird like shots videos behind the scenes content you guys will be able to enter into um giveaways large giveaways we're talking like 400 three to four hundred dollar plus knives once we hit 20 vip minimalists and then i'll be selling my knives there so let's see where are we at Whataburger Q says you have almost reached 50 million views. Crazy, right, man? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's it's just it's crazy. You guys should let me know in the chat what your favorite video is that I've made. Or if you like the live streams over everything. I mean, just let me know. Okay. 
can you show us your six thousand dollar knife that that's not mine but it's sitting back there and maybe later maybe later <laughs> let's see joseph says you should totally do a pew pew channel or like a sunday gun day fun day segment maybe maybe we'll see if if there's enough interest we might look into it i just i carry a g48 that's it daniel says loving the patron super nice having behind the scenes stuff it's really fun yeah and you guys can feel free to just shoot me a dm um let me know like if you guys have any questions if you need any help with photography if you want to grow your instagram page you can shoot me a dm there because i get a lot of dms on my instagram like if you've been in my dms before then you're probably special because i don't really accept those darren welcome to the minimalist club happy to have you bro okay cream puff says live stream is the best hell yeah uh, elijah how do you join the patron that's going to be linked in the description so you can go check it out um let's see here uh bu -bu -bu. yeah they they are my favorite because we can interact absolutely um gotta be careful not to get demonetized yeah yeah zach says did you get your elmo to match that cookie monster read no no i want an elmo dude are you are you kidding me bro shit i want one gunner says why did you buy a 150 dollars pen are you talking about which one are you talking about are you talking about the benchmade shorthand i also have the long hand right here both of them it's because um yeah because like well, why would you buy like a 600 hundred dollar knife it's because it's cool shit there's a, there is the long hand. This thing is, let me see. I've never actually even tried this. What fit? Oh, shit. I totally had, there we go. No, that's not going to fit. Yeah. This just to confirm the long hand does not fit in our GBG mighty pouch plus. <laughs> Warburger Q says, but I also like the meteorite knife. Hell yeah. Uh, me with knife says favorite the min the mini freak review bro why is that the first video that you saw from me because that was ages ago if we really think about it um darren says i subscribed on two accounts i think nice uh trash sauce says hey dude love your vids dude i'm happy to make them these things make me so happy Cameron says, show us your minis. Are you talking about like the mini pens? Yes. Oh. This is the new double, double click, dual click. So you got a release mechanism on each side. Um, Danielle says, uh, live streams and pouch dump videos are my favorites for sure. Hell yeah, I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving making those videos. Which 150 to 300 pen, love to see it. Uh, Christian, welcome to the Minimalist Club. And uh, what do you what do you mean? Uh, Brigade says, I would love to collect nice pens, but they always get stolen. Get yourself a pouch, bro. Because they got, they got to jack the entire pouch. They literally have to jack the entire pouch to get the pen because they're not just going to take your pouch and steal it from there. Like someone's going to take my pouch, bro. They're going to get cut. They're going to get cut straight up. Cut. Yeah. Shut up, mother. Okay. Now there you go. For those of you younger gents in here, we'll start using the bleep a little bit more, you know, just mother. Okay. And yeah i don't i don't use this very often to be honest no the mini knives mini knives like i have the runt series what else do i have that's mini do i have anything else that's mini i, I, if you, I consider the bear mini the mini bug out 
and then also the 945 Osborne. I don't know. Um, M7MD Studio Tour soon. Sure, man. I, I, you're seeing it right here. You guys are just not seeing all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, we should totally do a studio tour. Valen says, still need to do my carbon scales on my buggy. Why don't you just come over? Just come over right now. Valen, just come over. Literally. I have like an hour. Come over. Let's show the stream how to install these scales. So let me know when you're here. I'll open up the garage. We're solid. Uh, let's see. Boom. Okay. Whew. Um, Gunner says my first vid was the $1,000 or $10,000 OTFs. Okay. Um, <laughs> those things are insane guys. Like I, I didn't actually buy those. So I'm just saying we with knives says that yes, that was the first video of yours. I saw subbed and shared with EDCC. So that's the video that you shared over to Ray. That's awesome, dude. Um, Zach says we made every patch on that pouch. You made every patch on this pouch? Dude. Shout out to Toxic Patch Co. They know how to make some damn good Ranger Eyes. Like I said, dude, hit me up in the DMs. Let's do something again. Um, By the way, I mean, if you're in here, how are the V1.5s coming? If Dan has contacted you about that yet. Uh, Zolly Wally says, can you show us your current wallet, please? Sure can. Starting to get a lot of patina. This is the Popov five card wallet. Boom, boom. I can't show you guys that info, but this thing, this thing has been fantastic so far. Like Jesus, man. I love it. It's got a lot of scratches on it, of course, because it's hitting my knives and then whatever else I have in my pockets. Balance says I'm at work, but maybe I can leave early. If you can leave early, just come. Just come. Do you have like a katana? No, I do not have a katana. Greg says smash that like button. Hell yeah, let's go. Cream Puff says I don't care if you cuss. <laughs> um, Tanner says you think you'll ever make a computer build or are you going to stay into, in the EDC knife lane? I... I don't, I don't even know, man. How long have you been following me? Because I've got a custom water-cooled machine right here with open-loop cooling sitting right next to me. So, I mean, I've already built a machine. And my next computer is actually going to be a Mac. Just saying that Mac Studio is looking pretty spicy. And I've got a really powerful machine here. I'm not getting rid of this one. Whataburger Q says... Have you ever thought about putting carbon fiber on a flashlight? Um, no, I've never even thought about making a flashlight, to be honest. Wyatt says, can I go to your house? Uh, no, that's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, hopefully got something to show tomorrow. Dude, yes, that'll be awesome. Uh, there's nothing behind me. I mean, I can literally see what's behind me on the screen. I don't think you guys understand that. B-Man new here. What's up, guys? What's up, B-Man? Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, like I said, we're still chilling. If you guys haven't hit that like button yet, totally do it. Tanner says, would be cool to see you build it. That's all you're saying. Okay. Maybe I should just share on my Patreon some behind the scenes like my full-time job because that's literally what our company does we build a very high-end gaming pcs content creation rigs workstations that sort of thing um let's see here okay so should we should we start talking about this let's talk about the dumb tray first and i'm going to show you guys Jamie's website here. You guys will be able to check it out. Um, let's do this. I'm going to move this up here. This down here. Boom. 
And here we go. Okay. Desktop view. There we go. And let's move this over here. I don't even know why I have this up that way. Okay. Okay. There we go. So this is my buddy Jamie's website. If you guys want to check this out, uh, let's, let's mute this for a second. And uh, I made this video. Oh, shit. You guys can't see it. There we go. Those are my hands. Those are my hands. My hands. Yep. Anyways, yeah. So this is Jamie's Cheat Sheet Pro. And basically, these are really nice, really nice dump trays. And if you guys know what who JRW is, um, he's the guy that makes the curators. I don't have the curator in front of me. It's in the other Zero Feud pouch in my backpack. But um, yeah, he makes some really good stuff, guys. I would heavily suggest getting one of these. And the cool thing is this does have a removable tray, right? So you can take this out, use it as a separate tray, which I actually have the gray version sitting in front of me. And you can put his signature pyramids or curators on there like this. And it's a fantastic knife display. So you can like literally just do this. Boom. I have a bunch of knives in front of me. Holy cow. You can put your knives on your desk like this and just let the, like, show them off, you know? Like, you, you put so much money into these things. Show them off. That's the same thing with the home in a Hadfield knife box back there. Um, let's go back and find some other music. I wonder if you guys know what this song is. Tell me if you know what this song is. That would be impressive. Let's see if you guys know what this is. Please tell me. So there's this song. Let's see. Is it this one? No, not that one. Gotta find it. I gotta find it. Where'd it go? No, please. Let's see. Um, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. Home Depot theme remix. <laughs> Brigade, thanks for sharing the link, bro. Um, we need to find where'd it go? Oh, this one. This one. You guys probably know what this is. Oh man. You guys know what this one is? Maybe. I mean, if you guys know, then you know. Cameron, thanks for the super chats, bro. Have a good one. Peace out. So there's that one. Yes, sir. M7MD. Okay, where is this one? Is it this one? Shit, no. I need to find it. No, there's not. No. I was just going through all these the other night. Oh, here's this one. You guys know this one? Please tell me you know this one. Please. Please tell me you know this one. If you guys don't know who this is, like, damn, where have you been? Stasa23 in the house. What's up? Oh, man, this is this is so good. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is... Has no, does no one know who this is? Are you kidding? You guys got the best damn EDC one, right? Maybe, maybe it needs to catch up. My brother texted me. He's coming over. Oh, man. Logan says, hi, just joined. Dude, welcome to the live stream. Okay, M7MD knows his YouTubers really well. Really well. My new intro, hopefully Backpack B is doing it. I, I don't know, man. 
elevator rock <laughs> no words no that that is definitely that is definitely the pete himself um okay we're gonna actually find some other music here no no oh my god i haven't heard this song in forever holy shit if you guys go back into my videos i like memorized the song because it took me like literally 20 hours to edit my like first videos because i had no idea what i was doing jesus man blocky bot blocky bot what's up um ghost panda says you should make collectible coins what do you mean bro hmm maybe who would buy one it just depends on who would buy one they'd probably be like 30 bucks they would probably be made of copper brass bronze Wyatt busman peace out bro patina turner what's up <laughs> canadian pirate What burger Q says, have you given any more thought to the knife NFTs? Once I get, once I get more help doing this one, well, maybe once I go full time, then yes. Yeah, absolutely. Except I just don't have enough time. Like seriously, because we're doing this every week. I'm making, I did a lot of freelance video work. So like with Jamie, with the curator tray slash the cheat sheet pro, that's what's actually called yeah um we also got some really good photos of jared ozer's new design you guys want to see this um let me show you guys this shot that i took and then edited today because um i don't really share a lot of my photography here nope wrong one okay so we're gonna go here we're gonna go to Damn, guys, I have so many files. You know what? Let, let's show you this one first, and then I'll show you all of my photos from the very beginning, because I think I have it here, but uh, no, but it's not under that. Drive, there we go, and boom, boom, boom. Is this it? Revised? I have to download the photo now? What? I didn't edit it on this, so... There we go. Boom. Save. There we go. Yeah. I think you guys will like this. Let's see. Desktop view. This is my most recent project with Jared Ozer. And this is his new brand. This is the Cannibal from Superlative. And that, that one shot took me two weeks. What is this music? I... I can't this is this is horrible this is like very way back when music um this is not good so, uh, we'll just go to my downloads and play something no 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 there we go okay oh okay okay uh tactical cream puff how is your day going mine is pretty good besides school i got bullied today what the hell dude that's not cool that's not cool you're, you're, you just gotta stand up dude stand up for yourself i was heavily bullied in high school and junior high and it was because i was the only asian guy on the football team i was a lineman i was a nose guard center and then right right guard left guard that's how i played and uh, yeah a lot of a lot of guys on the football team hated the fact that i was asian so you just gotta you gotta stick up for yourself you know 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 what you're worth walk away when it's time to walk away bro that's what it is um Elijah, yeah, I'm doing a giveaway at 200K. You guys just stay tuned. It's going to be the biggest one yet because there's probably like a few thousand worth, hopefully. I'm doing my very best for you guys, just saying. Anyways, with um, this new photo, yeah, I took a lot of time doing that. But let's open up my old photos and see if anybody recognizes these. Oh, man, maybe the only one would be me with knives. 
And then when Balin gets here, we're going to show, I'm going to have Balin do the scale swap on a bug out and teach him how to do it. Maybe you guys can follow along. He's going to be asking me questions. I'll just be like, yeah, this is how you do it. Cause he's never taken apart a knife before. Um, okay. So we're just going to go into my backups here. Instagram, man, this is going to be such a big throw back. Okay. So this is what my old thumbnails used to look like, right? These are so old. Holy cow. Can I like, can I even scroll through these No. Can I make this bigger? Yes, I can. The carbon fiber ZT 0707 or the 707. Oh my God. Yeah, this was, uh, when was this taken? This was taken. It doesn't tell me. Oh, there we go. June 20. Second 2020, so almost two years ago. God damn. Um, that that was forever ago. Okay. So we got that. Um, where's another like really old one? Oh yeah, like this. <laughs> the the 31 small stabbed into an apple. This is when I was like really learning how to use my camera. It was the Canon EOS RP. And, um, yeah, this was just a really eccentric type of shot. Those are, this is in my apartment on the counter. This is my, um, cutting board. <laughs> you can see the nozzle there, but yeah, those are like the old shutters that I had. And I was like, oh, okay, that looks dope. Um, here's the Brad Zinker urban trapper. I think is what it's called refine EP one. And then I still use this thing to this day. It's actually in front of me. This is the Glow Rhino pry bar with the tritium inlay. This thing is badass, by the way, if you guys don't know what it is. I use this thing all the time. That's my desk pry bar. And the EP1, of course, is awesome. We're gonna be giving away a few of those. Uh, let's see, well, here's another old one of the Trapper. Oh my God, this is so bad. This is terrible. Um, my brother is here. Hang on, hang on. Uh, let's see. Going to open the garage. He's going to walk in. I'm going to introduce him to you guys again. He's never been on a live stream. No, don't call me. Open. There we go. Is my garage door opening? Yep, it is. Garage door. Oh, whoops. Wrong garage door. Oh my. I just totally opened. My garage door, my old townhouse's garage door, actually two townhouses ago because I can't remove it off of here. So now their garage door is open. I should probably close it. They're probably freaking out right now, but once I close it, they're probably going to freak out even more. But okay. Shit. Okay. Malibu. It's an old Malibu shot. Check this thing out. Here comes Balin. He's going to have to pull up the chair. Grab the chair over there. Balin's not used to being on live streams. There he is. I know I know you guys like him. A few, guys, a few of you guys know who he is. Come, come say hi. What up, everybody? That's her. You got to get close. I'm close enough. I can hear it. I was watching your stream. Holy cow. What do you mean? wait that was my house you, you guys are just man you guys crack me up okay um balen doesn't have a set of headphones so it's like really quiet in the room and awkward <laughs> uh, um did you bring your other one your model 18 no where is it god damn it uh okay okay you're doing this let me see if i can split these headphones here one sec could use my speakers, but then it's gonna back play. Let's see if I can. Hang on, guys. We're gonna show Balin how to do a scale swap. What is that noise? Is that oh that's my song? Okay, so we need this. We need these. Okay, so what we're doing tonight is we're swapping out. Well, I need to show them this. We're swapping out these scales this was like literally not planned 
<laughs> we're gonna swap out some scales and show Balin how to do this. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can change the sound. Hang on, guys. Um, this was literally not planned. Can oh, there it goes. Oh, it works. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and then change this to the main audio. What? My tool? What? What tool? Oh, that tool. Here, hang on. We're gonna first set up the new cheat sheet. Balin doesn't know how to react on stream. It's okay though. Okay. We're gonna take this, dump this in. Flytanium scales. Flytanium scales. Yep. And where did my tool go? Okay. So I think it's in my black one. There it is. GBG for the win. Go, go, gadget garage tour. You yep. want me have this one? No. Why not? Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Not yet. Okay, do not mess this up. I definitely will. KPL goes right there. Do this side first. So while Balin's doing this with no guidance, I get to talk to you guys. <laughs> while you guys watch a beginner take apart a knife. He's never taken one apart before. Um, okay. Um, okay, you guys are talking about some weird things in the chat. What do you even mean? I think the whole North America will help Ukraine. Most definitely. We'll see. Make sure that you keep track of each individual screw. Yeah, well, that's why we you maintenance your knives. So you gotta. Oh shit! A screw just dropped. Are you kidding me? Okay, here you go. Use the new flashlight. Oh, I hate it when this happens, man. Did you find it? Oh, that. Oh shit! Did did I do it? Yes, you did it. You no, what? Thing. Well, looks like you gotta get on them knees, boy. I hope I don't get demonetized for that. Cameron with another dono. Super chat, 99 cents. Me with knives, do you have a Torx bit to keep the pivot lined up? What What do you mean? Oh my God, it bounced somewhere. Check like over here. Or like, is that it right there? It's gone. No. No. Go look over there. Why would it be all over there? Uh, just go look. My fault you it's all your fault you it's all your fault okay anyways keep going shit God damn, it. Ugh, damn it we lost the screw guys shit shit professional over here. i'm a professional okay professional knife disassembler i don't fuck up okay yeah what did you just do someone clip it clip it no one clip that what are you even talking about uh rip screw you need a magnet <laughs> forget him <laughs> bruce ben. uh uh shit do you have a magnet and somewhere i don't think i have a big mag that's fine go get my big knife case now i don't have to walk back there yep villain is like my bitch when he comes over and he helps with everything, which I really do appreciate. 
Oh, we dropped. Damn it, Comcast. Such ass. Okay, take out the orange one. It's under all those. Do not mess those up. No. Uh, actually, grab the red scaled bug out. I'll use that one. Yep. I can just reach out to Benjamin and be like, yo, can you guys send me an extra screw because my brother had lost them? No, which screw, which screw did you lose? One of these two. One of those two. God damn it. Those are so annoying. Okay. This one is this one. It's this one. God damn it. Well, you guys can probably hear the music echoing, but it's all Gucci. Okay. So we're going to put those right there. Flashlight, flashlight magnets. Um, that's actually a good idea. Here, I'm gonna have Balin entertain you. Um, Cameron, you need to chill out, bro. <laughs> shit. This is ma oh, it's magnetic. Yeah, well, no shit. Yeah, it's magnetic. That's fine. I'm gonna go use one of my OLEDs. Oh, I didn't tell you what happened with my Olay. What? When I took it camping, uh, I may have tried to burn a piece of paper. No, it melted the plastic on the lens a little bit. God damn it. <laughs> Just a little bit, not a lot. Also, I need a new, we need to reach out to Olay, see if we can get me a light for my uh, can. Did you bring it? No, I don't have it. I'm not carrying it today. This ain't working. Nope. Oh man, where is it? My head is way too deep in the Yeah, but at work it's like solid ground. Yeah. Damn it, I don't have a good switch. Whatever, I give up. That's fine, I can sacrifice. Huh. Shit. Get closer. It's right here. Okay, let's get back to this chat. Oh, man. Okay, all them lights and it's dark. Under my desk, man. Um, I have a bunch of other lights, but those are focus lights, right? We can uh let's let's see. Are you doing this all right? Oh god, no 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 no, what are you doing? What are you unscrewing all of them all at once? No, they're in oh, god. the whole bottom side separated. No 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 no, leave those ones screwed oh, in. Shit. It would have been shit. Who's older? You guys can guess. Okay. Um you have to take out this front one though to get the scale off. Hang on, hang on. Screw that back in. Is that already screwed in? I can feel it. If the screw ever existed. <laughs> it's probably a figment. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, boom. Hello. Okay, so take out that center one. Hello. You're gonna come out. It's dirty. Jesus Christ. Okay, leave that center one right here. Oh my God, this thing is so dirty. I carry it every day. Bruh. Bro, look at this. If it, sorry, cover your eyes. Go like this. No, go, like cover all the way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ew. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Okay. All right. So now you're going to push out the pivot. Just what do you mean? Push out the pivot. Go like this. And then hold the axis bar. And then pull that out. This. Okay, now the blade slides out. Bro, are you kidding me? This is so gross. We have yet to clean it. What the hell are you? Look at this. Look at this, guys. Ew. Ew. 
pull out your sharpener. We can definitely sharpen it while it's out. Yeah, yeah we should probably do that. I haven't sharpened this thing in forever. Okay, let's do this. Do I have enough space for this right here? Yeah. For my sharpener as well here. I have all this space up here. <sighs> Can you grab it? Work sharp down there. We could use my KME, but that's... Eh. Don't really want to use the KME. We got 56 likes in the house. What's up? Okay. I have, I've yet to live stream with uh, my sharpener. You got it? It's the other way, other way. There you go. Okay, hang on. Oh my God, there's just too much shit. Holy shit. It's still sharp. It's kind of messed up though. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Is that like actually hitting the coating there? Should we let's go grab some knife shield. Hang on. Oh, yeah, you got it? It's over there. Um, I need a different Hank because I don't want to F up this one. That's fine. Just bring it over. Um, we're going to use this Hank. You guys are like Anaboos. You guys like anime? Is this anime bone? Is that anime? <laughs> question? Yes. Okay, you know what to do. Sponsored, not sponsored by KPL, even though I've done work with them. KPL is awesome. Closer, closer, closer. Ah, shit. Coming out. What the hell? Is my squeezer broken? I'm just going to undo it. Go grab the other one. Where's the other one? Is this the only white one over there? Oh no, right there. It's on top of my PC. Whataburger Q, we actually changed the live stream hours. Oh, guess what's coming tomorrow? What? Oh, is it? It's it. No, what the hell, man? What are you even talking about? You totally just destroyed my hand. It's green to the left. Okay, let's just leave it. Leave it. It got in my fucking mouth, man. You didn't bleed. Ah, oh, shit. Are you interested in fixed blade knives? Um, yeah. Absolutely. Wow, that was just disgusting. Was it? Yeah, look at that. Damn, knife shield coming in hot. Yes. That's fine. Um, let's take those out too. Here was the... Boom, this is how you take out thumb studs, by the way. You literally just... Boop. Oh, gross. Jesus Christ. So you don't have a pouch and you actually carry it on your pocket? Everyone carries in the pocket. Who uses a pouch nowadays? I don't know. Maybe you and you have like five, six. I have three. You have these ones. Yes. What about the other one? Yo, Brad's in the house. Grab the scapegoat. This is for Brad. This is for Brad. Open it up to the camera. No, no. You, you got to do it the right way. Close it. Close it. Okay, get close. Very close. Very, very close. Let it vote. No. Brad, that was for you, bro. I love you, man. <laughs> okay. So we're maintenancing Balin's knife right now, the bug out. It was ridiculously dirty. 
like disgustingly dirty. And there we go. What are you doing? If you burn this place down, oh my god, I would kill you. I mean, one spark can burn this place down. I'm like really sticky now. You literally hit my right hand with that. Yeah, Shit. you know how many times I had to reshoot that for KPL and how sticky my hands were? Yeah, Balin yeah, helps me. Balin is the actual person in the knife shield commercial video. <laughs> and his hands got sprayed. Brad says, you come into Blade Show Atlanta. Next year. Uh, next year, not this year. KPL actually wanted to fly me out to go help them at their booth. And I rejected because, yeah. Not about the boobs alike. Yeah. Now we gotta clean that. Uh, we need another tool. And hopefully it's in here. No. Where'd my toothpick go? Oh, Balin has a refined toothpick that we can use. And this can just get out all the gunk. Is that, is that like in there, in there? Oh. Get in your Dust. face. Ew. I don't even think that's glue. What is that? Like Balin collects Hot Wheels. Balin's huge into the Pokemon cards. Yes, <laughs> okay, let's, let's put this back. Can you change the music? Oh, actually, the mouse. Change it to like any of those. This is good. This is good. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Hey, have you seen me since I got this? I don't know. It's Sir Jack Wolf. You remember them? Yeah. Ben? Yeah. Why is this not even? Oh, did I? Shit. That's a good thing with the flip joint. Like that flip joint. Just saying. Okay, why is this not? Shit, do I need a? What? Nice. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thumb studs. Jesus, man. Brad says, great big idea design photo shoot. Dude, appreciate it, man. It was literally shot right there. You can just uh, point out people. Yeah. Borks Gaming, remember me? What's up, dude? What is up? Frankie's awesome for city like Disco. What do we grow up on, Brandon and Jason? Bee Gees. We grew up on the Bee Gees. So I think the bug out is at 15. There we go. We are using the work sharp elite. Precision elite, I should say. Cause we're just putting an easy touch on it. Okay, where's the kid at? Camera says, I think shit is his favorite word. Yes, it definitely is. Shit. Okay, uh, no, we do not need this one. This one. Christopher, what's up? How is your guys day and night going? Bill and just got off work and mine's going pretty well. Okay, so we're just gonna go at six, 600. And then we're gonna bring this back down to 15. Shit, what did I resharpen this to? No. Is that 15? What do we got? No. New knife game. Brandon retracting. What? Or branch retracting. It's new knife day. What'd you get? It's new knife day? Yeah, what what would you get, bro? Let's hear it. Am I even hitting the edge there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're at 18. This bug out has been through the ringer. Jesus, man. 
Savivi Knox. Nice. Everyday Maximalist. <gasps> no fucking... <laughs> Someone actually made the username. What's up? Shit, that's hilarious, man. Everyday maximalist. I don't think maximalist is even a word. Is that even a word? Okay, so I'm working on this. You can uh, take out these screws. So yeah, just take them out and then put them in. Throw them on the ground. We achieved the burial. Yeah, no, not yet. Oh, it's Darren. Oh, of course. Okay. I got you. I got you, man. Just gonna have to be done with this by like 8 p.m. Yeah, she's at a uh, yoga thing. You haven't been over since uh, Blade Show, huh? Russ Yoker, any EDC for photographers? Um, I mean, I, I'm a photographer. So if you watch any of my videos, that's why I carry. Tim Kim, uh, we are doing a maintenance run slash uh, scale swap on this bug out. Balen's bug out that I gave him like, how long has it been? Almost two years? Almost two years ago. And this is the one that was um, TikTok famous, actually. Because um, we totally, or I totally smacked the edge against the cement. And then Balen was like, I want a bench main. I was like, okay. Did you get this before the autocrat? I think you did. Yes, this is what I was carrying before. Ew, gross. Now I don't carry the autocrat. Why don't you carry water prep? Oh yeah, she get she getting toasty. She getting toasty. Switch this over to a hundo. Um, Jay says love my pocket pouch wallet, Brandon. I can't decide on patches. Well, you gotta go and in, get into the re club first, or follow them on Instagram. Balin's actually gonna get started into it as well. I might sell him my pouch plus maybe maybe we'll 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 start him off with the rover right now i'll actually give that to you right now and then yeah balen tried to get into the drop <laughs> for the gray canvas and then there's the black one and a green one no there was a that was a different one are you following matt now roger Bell? yeah yeah again those they're so sick Um, but yeah, I would suggest going to follow Re Club. Those are awesome guys there. And um, if you can get into the club, do it. It's a Facebook drop. Uh, let's see. What are we looking at? You should have already done the maximalist. <laughs> yes, I should have. This came from my photography at first, so. Have you ever dropped a knife point first? What do you mean? Unfi6798. Hi, folks. Christmas Island is in the house. Happy Easter, everyone. What's up? Oh, it's Easter Sunday, huh? We don't celebrate Easter. So. Not since we were kids. Who was that white dude when you went camping? Rob. That was Rob? The white Tacoma? Oh, he what the hell? With everything on it. He's no. got a $5,000 camp there. I would, I would buy the eye camper. What? He wants to sell it as it is. Like he's not parting with it at all? No, he says it maybe. He wants to get a Raptor. Or something. Yeah, good luck getting a Raptor right now. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm getting on the list tomorrow for new Tacoma. What do you mean tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm gonna go get on the list. Like, for 23. they haven't even announced it yet. What do you mean? Yep, so get on the list. Blocky Bot, you like games, Balen? Depends on the game. Balen plays like Ark and Valorant religiously. And Apex. 
and Apex. He just plays games all night, all day. He needs to come over and uh, start editing for me. The cream puff is still here. What's up? Um, have you uh, always carried the variable ND and a spare battery? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if we're talking about like photographers. What's your favorite knife type of knife? A folder, a folding knife, any folding knife. What do you mean? OTF. An OTF? No, I, I don't like OTFs, to be honest with you. I do. Yeah, but I, I just, I can't. I, the blade to handle ratio on most OTFs are just horrid. Can talk about blade to handle ratio? Yes, I do actually. Let's talk about half your knives. By the way, everyday minimalist knife, we heard back. That's coming soon. It's coming soon. And uh, guess who helped me draw it out? Yep. Yep. Brandon does not have a steady hand when it comes to drawing. So. I have a steady ass hand when it comes to camera. Though. Like, not drawing. Drawing, no. Yeah, I suck at drawing. What did you do? Fine, fine. What are you doing? Putting him back in the new one. No, we have a backspacer. Hello. Where, no, where'd it go? Yeah. Unless you don't want to install the backspacer. No, we'll do the backspacer. I'm going to need these back, by the way, so I can make the actual video of how to do the bug out scale swap. Mm. So we're going to have to redo this. I mean, it's going back on the. It's going to go back on it. Darren says, I love Ford, but you, yeah, get a Jeep. Um, I personally like my foreigner. We're, we're Toyota people. Bill and drives the Lexus IS 350 right now. So yeah, we are Toyota gang. And I'm just waiting for the new foreigner to come out. Cause that, that hybrid life would be amazing. Talking to Aaron today. Suge? Oh so yeah. That the hybrids come, or tundras are coming out in a couple months, and then the foreigner should be next. Oh please, hybrid foreigner. Gas is killing me. God, I'm paying like fucking like a hundred, a hundred dollars a tank right now. You even drive anymore. Yes, I do. What do you mean? Sure. Lie and Alyssa, Nash Punk, uh, sir, drop everything. What do you mean? Jade says Land Cruiser would would be goaded. <laughs> Danielle says the forerunners are absolutely beautiful. I should share more content on the forerunner. Did they ever get back to you? No, not yet. We'll see. Okay, I think that edge is pretty sharp. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is weird. Oh yeah, that is way more slicey now. Okay, now you gotta throw those away. What's your favorite Hank says, Brad? Ugh. Renegade EDC. Favorite Hanks, hands down. Six bucks a gallon in California. Oh my God. Cream Puff says, I like the Tacoma Tundra and Supra. Nice. The Supra was the second choice for me. It was between the Supra and the Tacoma, but... Yeah, yeah, you're not going to get the Supra. Hell I mean, no, not in Utah. Have, if it wasn't for this... If it wasn't for this channel, then I would have got the Supra. Whatevs. Um, <laughs> Actually. Okay, now let's try the Strop. Let's try the Strop version and see how well that does. Hopefully I do it right, because I haven't really used it. Oh my gosh. No, this is too intense. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna put this back on now. <laughs> no, this is too difficult. Grab my actual shot. <laughs> put this on the other desk. Or put it down there. Oh, okay. I don't have a katana. No, that, I mean, technically it's a Tonto. What is What else?
Brigade, can, if you're still here, I need to know what that dropping compound is. I honestly don't remember what that is. Uh, Brad says, is there a pouch that could work with the croc giblets or however you spell that? I, I don't know. What is a croc gil, gilbet? I have no idea what that is, Brad. Um, hang on. They want the jazz music. So we're going to play the jazz music. Um, there we go. Now super chill. Last time we did this was in... Uh, down in Texas played show. Croc Gibbons. Uh, what are those? I have no idea. They look like patches. But no, those are, no, those are shoe charms. The know. little plugs yeah, for so the croc the, the, the charms for them. Is that a thing? Yeah, you get little charms and you can put them in the holes of the croc. Oh. <laughs> That's not the Danielle clearly knows what it is. Um, Jan, gotta go give my dogs their dessert. My crew's back there later. Dude, have an awesome night, Jan. Uh, your send cut. Send cut all the way. Cowboy Bebop vibes? Hell yeah. Cowboy Bebop. Let's go. Like res for your Crocs. <laughs> Uh, you mean Rees. Um, God, I always read Rez. Rees for your Crocs. I don't own a single pair of Crocs. So just saying. All right, let's 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 finish this up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed through this for you, Bill, unless you want to do it. Do, do these actually screw in? Okay. Oh, and you got that. And did you clean in between the... Oh my, that was an end. <clears throat> I tried screwing it, it didn't screw in. Okay. It dropped on the floor again. God damn it. Is it actually? <sighs> Shit. Oh no, it did screw in. It just fell out the other side. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. Here, just leave it. Leave it. Leave it. We can't be it's losing cool. another screw tonight. No, this is definitely not sponsored by oh, Benchmade. Oh, my fell out. Oh, my hell. Here, just, just leave it. Just leave it here and here. I'll help you with this. Okay. So, what we're going to do is... Um, let's clean this a little bit more. Where are the washers at? Right here. Danielle says I'd be 100% in for Croc. <laughs> oh, God. I think I'm saying it wrong, but Zach is the guy that made the everyday minimalist patches. Oh yeah. Yep. So I need, I need patches. Um, clearly Zach will do it. No problem. You need what? I need to get patches. Oh my God. Do we lose another one? No. You need to get patches. Well, first you got to get yourself a pouch. Hello. I tried and then it didn't work because you didn't tell me I needed a freaking no. Okay, well, you just got to check. Here, check it right now. Just go to GBG's website. Such low DPIs. Okay, well, you can adjust the DPI just by boop, boop. There you go. Oh, no, we lost it. No, that's a work tab. Oh, no. Play, just play any of those. Was that Renegade EDC Hank re released recently? No, this is very old. This is a very old Hank. And it's been beat to absolute shit. Garagebuiltgear.com. Let's go there. Um, let's polish these. I'm getting Jamie's tray Wait, dirty. No, tray. no. What? No. Yo, Taylor Ray, the drip man. No, I don't watch car yeah, YouTubers. He's got a no. It's sick. The only one is big in a car as I'm not anymore. Um, I need that strap again. No announcements at the top of the page. Go to the top of the page. TBD. Okay, well, looks like you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> Sucks to suck. He makes the switch pouch too. Look at that. 
switch pouch. I wonder how fast those went. Anyone know what the orange mats are for? So this is the brand new JRW cheat sheet. And it's literally for this, like knife. Oh shit, I'm doing my right side. It's literally for um, this type of stuff. Knife maintenance, nightstand, caddy, desk caddy, the donut. Yeah, he hasn't made those in forever. And guess what? We're gonna be partnering up with GBG and possibly doing, possibly doing it every day minimalist collab. Maybe, maybe. I'm sure a lot of people would be in on that. <laughs> Jamie? Pouch? What do you mean a pouch? Jamie doesn't do pouches. Yeah, but he could collab a pouch. I mean, he dropped another one. I'm gonna move the mic over here. And we're gonna call it that. Okay. Imagine in the teal blue. That would be sick. That would be a that would be a cool pouch. I mean, or you can just get his ranger eyes and then call it good. Let me know if people are saying things because I'm not really. Orange mats with awesome tool dump trays. Yeah. It's to keep the part of the knife separated so the screws and yep. and not to lose parts. Well, clearly you can still lose the screws if you're not being careful. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing parts left and right, guys. Oh, Rover isn't a bad alternative and super easy to get your hands on. What I hear it is. What is? The Rover is not bad. The Rover EDC? Yeah, yeah I, I've done a full review. Done a full review on it, and it's not bad, but it's not the best. That's the, that's the best way I can put it. Zayla's Uchiha said, dang, because that's that Gundam is my favorite Gundam. Oh, you need oh to bring, you need Zala's to bring in the house, man. What's up, dude? You need to bring out the collection at home. Oh, yeah, you guys should see our Gundam collection. Holy shit. Shit. We still need to find that one trade for the perfect grade. Yeah, we have a perfect grade Gundam. If you guys know what that is. And we lost a tray. Our aunt lost a tray. Yeah, she she literally lost a tray in Hong Kong because we were there for two months. And it's too it's we haven't seen it yet, apparently. I can't find it. I tried building it, but we lost that tray and I can't can't do it. Fuck. Damn it. The great topple rover you have is the cop. My, on your first video I'd ever you should seen. grab that out because I'm giving that to you um, it's in the cabinet yeah it's right there on the right hand side are you talking about this one actually you're going to get that thing dirty I don't know if I should give you that one or the garage door gear one well I'm buying the garage door gear one You should just totally get in on a drop. I tried. We went over this. Just saying. Damn it. Lyle and Alyssa. Oh, not sure yes. I couldn't find a description. Or... What, what are they looking for a description on? I don't know. Who is that? Oh, oh, yeah. Anyone knows what that one found? Yeah, them. for the GRW mats. Where? What? Oh, yeah. Um, Here, pull it. JRWgear.com. Cheat sheet. They're not. They're not super, like price efficient. But they are worth every single damn dollar. I'm just saying that right now. Um, you have to go to his homepage. There, and then click on learn more, and then send that in the chat. Carbon? No. no. Have this and that on the other side? I don't think so. Oh, no, maybe if it was like the titanium one, that would be cool. Okay, so now we need to reassemble this stuff. I think this is the middle one. You think? I think. Yep. Aren't they all the same size? They should be. I just want to make sure that we've got all right. Same issue that I had with the Damn it. Ah. That's why I was talking about. Where's my other bit driver? Oh, 
There's still 34 of you guys? You guys are ridiculous. Damn, I'm gonna have to carry the autocrat. <laughs> Can't carry this, it's too nice. Zero feud locks pouches? Are you talking about these? Or the pocket pouches? Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought when I saw the pictures. It fits a lot of stuff, though. Nicer shit. And then, and then also the one above the pillow. There's just a scuff on it. Zero Feud, LLC, yes. Take this one. No, no, no. What are you taking? Don't worry about it. Get out of here. Ooh. What are these for? Those are off of the, uh, uh, off of the 945. One of them. Yes, this is mine now. Eat it. Get out it's of here. clearly not being used. My anthem, right? No. Do you, you even know what it, it is? Yes, it's our uh, um, Ranger. Ranger Eye. Yeah, yeah, but do you know what that one is? No, I don't. It looks cool. I want it. Do you get what it is, though? No. What is it? Is, am I holding it the right way? Yes. Is it a face? Is that, are those eyes? That's a couch. No, do not show that. That's a couch. <laughs> like casting couch? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want this one. Why is it white? The guy's couch is black. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this action just complete garbage? What the hell is going on here? Just take this. Center. Tell us more. Uh, so I, I drive a 2020 TRD off or 2021 TRD off-road premium. It's white. It's got some predator steps on it. Which need to go. Which need to go because they suck. Um, what vape mod are you rocking? It's a Lost oh Vape Lima. That is garbage. It's honestly the best mod you can get for the price. It's like 55 bucks if you can find one or order one. This thing is garbage. And I used to have the Lost Vape uh, Paranormal, and that was like $270. And this one. You have to talk one. into the mic. Oh, can you hear me? Hey, Blocky Bot. See you, best friend. Peace out, man. Hopefully, we'll see you on the next one next Friday. You know what it is. That is garbage. Why is this action so garbage? It sounds like it's grinding on something. You can't even flick it. Like, does it need to break in, or what the hell is that? I already put KPL in there. Maybe it needs more. Maybe. Oh, sorry. I'll talk louder into the mic. Yeah, here. I used to have the the paranormal, the 250C DNA, and this is a great cheaper replacement. I had mine for like five years. And then it finally died on me. Or the screen died and I couldn't get a replacement for it. So now I'm using this one. Hopefully that's better, Danielle. Hopefully. <laughs> I honestly can't tell why this is so garbage. Okay, we'll try to dab some KPL in there. When did you get this? That is brand new and I couldn't show anyone that until today. Oh, I thought you said it. Yeah, so. The tally saw. Yeah. So oh, you're out. gonna have to break this thing in, Bill. I don't know. I've been playing around with the pivot a little bit. And it's still too. Is it? Is it really tight? 
build up. Oh, that is, oh my God. Yeah, that's almost as bad as the big one. Actually though. <sighs> we can take it apart again. It's but so tight. What do you do with the old scales? I put them in a bag and then put them away for safekeeping. No, the Nirvana is the spider coat is sick, but holy cow, this thing is turning out real nice. Did you put them in backwards? No, why would I put it in backwards? That's what it feels like. No, I didn't. I put yeah, washer. I'm nice. saying the washers are they in the wrong place? No, there shouldn't be any right or wrong way because I literally just dropped them and polished them. Yeah, because but, you're on one side when you were doing on the strop, it was super. Aggressive no, that's not gonna affect it. But let's take it apart again and see what is going on with this thing. Damn it! Might as well. Did you see last week I did a four-hour stream? No, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, it was a four-hour stream. Longer streams are better for everyone. Long streams are so hard. I get sweaty. Matter of fact, can you uh, tell Google to uh, turn down the temperature? Or just open the window. Hey, Google, turn down the temperature to 69 degrees. There we go. Did you decide on what you're going to do for the giveaway next? Yeah, there it is. Okay. This? Oh, so your next giveaway, guys, is going to be a bottle of knife shield. For the 200k. Last week was badass. <laughs> Ian is in the house. What's up, dude? Oh, oh. Yeah. This? Yeah, I already showed everyone. Uh, except it's not that one. It's not that exact one. But when did you get this? Last week. From Blade Co. Blade Ops. Blade Ops. Blade Co. Did you just call Blade Ops? Blade Ops. My bad. Damn it, Balin. I'm gonna win this giveaway, and all y'all are gonna be jealous when I'm carrying this. Whatever. You're disqualified. I can't be disqualified if it's an actual. You are disqualified, villain. I'm jealous. Last week with the giveaway shenanigans, it was a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah, that I apologize. That was not <laughs> that was not intended. What did you do? With, oh, was it the actually maybe I did see it. I gave away a bench made. I gave away. You gave away this one, didn't you? Yeah, that one has to yeah, go yeah, out this oh, week. So I did see it. I did see it. And then um, sent out some patches and stuff. And my other rover. Okay, we're just gonna put the stock backspacers in for now. What? It's still gonna mash up. Yeah, but it takes away oh, actually, the aesthetic. I want. Yeah, take that. Yeah. It takes away from the aesthetic. Fine, if you really want it. Okay, we're gonna. Ooh. Malibu. Oh, yeah, you gave away the black Malibu last week. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, I did watch it. I was there. Yep. Balin was there when we actually got that black Malibu. Protech was like, yo, you're coming up doing giveaways. I'm like, you guys giving away one? And they're like, yeah. That's when I bought you all your net. <laughs> yep. And they're like, here you go. Here's the giveaway. Let's see, is this clean? It's decent. I want to go get some ice cream. Wait, where's the uh, strop? I need the strop. I want ice cream. I want spilled milk. It's so nice outside right now, too. Is it? 60 something or like 50 something. That's, that's it's too cold. 56. That's it's sunny out though. Give away the shipwreck banner. Have you seen? Yeah, you've seen that. I have seen it. Yeah. I've seen it. Seen it. You've seen, seen it? it. I'll hit up House of Blades again and see if I can do another shipwreck. It's in there. Show the stream what this thing is all about. Would you guys be down for shipwrecked banter? Yeah, cover some eyes. Get closer. You got, you got to There we go. Get it in the light. There we go. Would you guys want one of these? Because I can hit up Wii. We can do it. We can do that as like a third place. Winner? This one has the. You gotta get closer. I'm trying. I'm Bailey, you gotta learn how to operate the camera, man. What do you mean? It won't, it won't focus. In the distance here. It's blue and it's copper. 
Brad's like, do it. <laughs> We, uh, I should just head up we and be like, yo, can we get our House of Blades? I'll hit up House of Blades and see if they can hook it up for you guys. Because I won't be keeping that, and that's for certain. Does that make you happy, Brad? Is that better? <laughs> they call, Brad called you Bill. <laughs> uh, actually, I go by Batman. Um, anytime you put my name into a phone, it auto corrects to Batman. So oh, it does, huh? That's my nickname. It sounds like I call you Bill, huh? Yeah. I, I just say uh, Balin, and it sounds like Bill, but it's literally Balin. B A Y L Y N N. <laughs> That's not how you spell it at all. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I regret yeah. not buying the titanium one. Oh, you should check those other ones out. Oh my god. Did you get more? No, no. Just grab them real quick. Do not show the camera. I mean, it can be like kind of out of focus, but oh, yeah, yeah the, those are still. I don't. I don't know if he wants me to share those bills. Because you're weak, you can't do front flippers. Always in for the shipwreck. Okay. I can't see it. Why? Because it reminds you of the scapegoat. Okay, bring that one over here. Bring that one over here. Can you show it? Um, I don't know. I but everyone in here are like loyal followers, so. Shit, I'm so dirty. Hang on. Okay, so there's the scapegoat. I still want to take pictures of this. And Jesus, man, I'm so dumb. There she is. Boom. You guys like traditional? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Anyways, that's the scapegoat's little brother. No, I didn't. I didn't tell him. Balin's my younger brother. By the way, guys. <laughs> older brother. I Whatever. Be older. Everyone nope. thinks I'm older. He's my little brother by like almost two years. How? What is going on here? Hey, it's Brad's now. <laughs> it's Brad's. <laughs> Danielle's in there because uh, Brad keeps like saying, "Oh, yo, I want that knife." Um, we need something to. Brad said he does. I heard Bill. Speak I know. Chest. Literally, what are you for? That is Bill. I'm looking for something heavy, like my curator. But. For what? Here, where's the big driver at? We can use that. God, Jesus, not so aggressive. Oh, you dented it. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Where's the best place to get a bit driver with a bearing on top? That would be urbanedcsupply.com. Link is in the bio. Check it out. Who said that? Oh, Zalas said it. Okay. Why does this one only have one singular? That's the giveaway one. Oh, I just only shipped that one out too. Yep. From Did last you get week. the other pouches shipped out? Or not the pouches, the, the, the patches? Pouches? Yeah, they all went out. I think uh, Danielle got one, but she had to like DM it because it was already sold out by the time and I held back on them. Uh, Danielle said, not the vape. <laughs> Any, you got to use whatever you got. Bro, are you kidding me? Okay, where's the other washer? Jesus, man, I'm done with this thing. You got now. the BHQ exclusive Natty G10 SBR. Nice, nice. The SBR is dope. Um, I would want the Ultim SBR. Like, that's just my preference, because Protec does their shit really well, but come on, man. There we go. Oh, 
because life is the bane of my existence, I swear to God. I was not planning on doing this tonight, by the way. Shit. Shit. Oh, you fucked it. You're fucking it. Yep. Yeah. Real bad. Yep. We're gonna break an Omega Spring tonight. My first broken ass Omega Spring. There we go. That's a much better purchase. Boom. It's supposed to flip this now. Oh my god. That's missing a screw now. It is missing a screw, but it still feels better than that did. It's because I tuned the hell out of that thing. Titanium banter or bug out? Who? What? Anthony Hughes. Titanium banter or a bug out? What? Which bug out? There's so many variants. I mean, from the sounds of it, I would go for the banter. Just straight off I the I think bat. it depends on weight. Because I, I would rather have a bug out because the banter is heavy. Yeah. Like if you're carrying it every day. Well, yeah, I'm Balen, we're using these for now until we come and actually do the video. Ian said Scout Leather also makes some sick with driver's set too. It's not a party unless you break an Omega Spring. <laughs> <laughs> Brad said bug out, Anthony said titanium. You know, I did on the secret Facebook group. Are you in that? Yeah, you're in that. Yeah, I'm in it. I put up a poll. And I was like, yo, do you guys want two bug outs or one Microtech Macora? Like almost all of you guys went in on the Macora, which I was really surprised because most people would have just picked the bug out, I think. By the way, you guys can feel free to invite anyone into that group, but after the two weeks, it's going to be a little bit more hardcore. Just saying, warning you guys. Cream buff, what's y'all's plans for Easter? We're going to go wheeling. Are no. going wheeling? No. I'm not going wheeling. I'm going to get my Tacoma wheeling. Yes, we will. A lot. Don't have any plans. Play video games. Relax. I am... Well, Ashley's Peloton bike is coming. Peloton? And the Peloton bike is coming tomorrow. I'll say they set it up. Well, the, the dude is doing it. Mm -hmm. And then the new Grail, aka is coming in. Yeah, it's a boy for that on purpose. Because it's everyone on Patreon is gonna find out first and then other people. Is it is it Zolly Wally? Is that how you say that? I I've been saying Zolly Wally. Cause Cause Zolly, they've been this, chilling. Just give him this red one and forget about losing parts. True. Except the only thing I don't like about it is that wolf on it. It's not I love the wolf. What do you mean? I like a queen. Where did blade, the other backspacer so. go? But I'll take it for parts. I don't mind. Film, that. Where did the other? It's right here in front of your oh, face. Oh, there it is. Ian said I wanted the Ultim SBR, but was out of stock in seconds. It's kind of like a garage bill gear drop, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I should totally hit up Matt and see if he can get us an Ultim SBR. Have you seen it? You should look at it real quick. I haven't seen it. Oh Turn up the DPI. Pretty what do you mean? I am. Ultim is like a it's a nude material that um, a lot of pocket art enthusiasts it would, are yeah, familiar would with Ultim. Go but really well with this. With what? I think with like oh wait no. One. Oh so it's clear. It's kind of it, it's it's clear but not actually clear clear. It's transparent. Yeah. Somewhat transparent. Yeah. It's weird because like under light it changes color entirely to when it's not. Like, yep. The black backside changes it. I should hit up Matt. Try to get one. 
you know, Matt is like our third brother in the knife world because he has the same last name as us, which I'm not going to disclose. So if you know Matt, cool. If you don't, then yep. Liter literally shares the name with us. Have you heard of the Zirconium Pharaoh? Yeah, so the Pharaohs, he like stopped posting things and stopped selling things right when I was getting big. So I don't know too much about that. Oh no. You just gotta keep it here until you do the video and then. <clears throat> no, maybe, maybe if I just did a little bit more. Oh. Oh, oh, ha, ha. Now I just have to add some Loctite. Is that centered though? Yeah. You talk about guns, said Joseph. Hake. You got to chill with that word, Balin. You talk about the pew pews, said Joseph. Hake. Oh, shit. Um, in some of the vlogs, I will be, but. Yeah, you got to see my new one. It's nice. It has a red dot and everything. I, I'm, you're so stupid. Why would you trade that thing for an HK or for a. Your, your VP9 for that. Because Whatever the fuck. it's easier to carry. Yeah, the pew pew. What else do you want me to carry? Where's my T6 <laughs> bit? There it is. Oh my god, okay. I think I'm I'm done with this. Here we go. Boom. Oh, everyone's going shooting tomorrow morning. Speaking of. Guess who's not going? Me. Because we have a couple friends that aren't friends anymore. And if you guys want to go blow them up, go for it. I'm next in line. Everyone's got theirs now. Everyone's got ARs and AKs, and now I'm stuck. You got to chill out with these pew pew definitions, Balin. Everyone's got the, the, the nice pew pews, the big ones. <laughs> I'm next in line, actually. Just call it a tool like we the knife community call them tools. Uh, Bell's or Bell's Blades. What's up, dude? Okay. Boom. It's kind of still a little dirty, but what else? Uh, we are actually just gonna take this. Okay. What? I know I do. Come on, come on, come on, camera. You can do it. There we go. It's gonna match my Model 18 now. Do not scratch it. Okay. Come on. Are you going to focus, camera? Like, what is your deal tonight, man? Oh, I have to tell it you. It just doesn't want to. About it, the Model 18. What What did you do? Nothing. I was looking at it yesterday while I was at work because I was bored. And the tip, it, it looks like it's not a defined tip, so I'm going to have to Oh, you're fine. Okay. That's the next thing It looks like it got dropped. Did you? I never dropped it. You probably did. It literally stays in my pocket, Sexy on my skills. desk, or at home. Your camera hates focusing. I mean, I can change the mode because it's on eye detect, and it's because it's too good at eye detect. That's why it sucks at focusing. So if I changed it, then it would work. Need some gold screws for it? Yeah. Need some gold accents. Yep. I think with the bronze backspacer, though, it brings it out. That, nice. that reminds me of RuneScape. Like the black, black gold armor, whatever you call it. What was that called again? I don't remember. I just remember. Okay, scoot over. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now we can focus on this chat for the next 20 minutes or so, as we chill. We got that done. Boom. I think it was the backspacer. Okay. God damn it, camera. I just want to destroy you. Here, I'm just gonna do this real quick because if we're showing things up close, might as well. Will this work better now? Still not? No, nope. focusing is dead. Whatever. Um. Did you guys ever find that screw that dropped? <laughs> no, that screw's gone. It's gone. No, it's not. It's somewhere. No, I'll, I'll look at it earlier. One of these days and it's just gone. So I got a new cookie from 52 Graves, right? Something. Yeah, 52 Graves. And this came in today and it's still not focusing. God damn it, whatever. And this is just another piece of pocket art. Look how dope that is. Um, 
Did my manual focus turn off? Is that one? Oh, it's rubber? Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why it hasn't been working. Oh, look at how fast that is now. Okay. Okay, here, let's let's see the bug out again. Anyways, here's the bug out. Yes, that, that's just the mode I need to leave it in because like, boom, boom, nails focus. Okay. But yeah, this is uh, one of the cookies. And then let's see if we can charge this biash up. I know the bead is really good. Let's do the bead actually. And it blows kind of if I... Now we're focusing. Yeah, so now I can just like get back up close and personal. This thing is so dope. I dig it. Um. Okay, so did you look at this yet? I did look at it, yeah. I'm did you look at the it. Chevalier? I didn't see this one. Ooh. <laughs> what do you think? You know my thoughts on it. Well, what do you think? I don't like this type of blade. Dead center. You can't. Yep. I can't. I'm not, I'm too far away. Oh my god, it's not focusing again. Oh no, nope, there we go. Okay. Jesus man. I'm not a fan of the blade type. I like the blade shape. Sorry. Not blade sheep's type. foot. I don't like sheep's foot. Not a fan. You're not. A f oh, can you? Chill, man. Chill. I'm a I'm a Tonto guy. It's a Tonto guy. So what what do you think about this blade? Then? It's not bad. I can't even remember what that thing's called. Um, I literally just unboxed it. I forgot what it's called. It's sharp, it's nitro V. I like clip points. Is it considered clip point? That is, uh, yeah, kind of, it's like a buoy. It won't focus again. Anyways. Yeah, see, Ian's with me. He doesn't like Ian sheep's doesn't foot. Ian like the sheep's foot. Okay. I'm not a fan, okay. I'm not a fan. Okay, what about this one then? Wow, Ian spelled my name right. Yeah, because he- Oh, wait, wait, no. The letter slipped around, but close enough. Also, Ian says also a big Tato guy here, or clip, or chop point. Ian yeah, that's the same taste I have. He has a 3V bailout, so that was cool. That's the same type and taste I um, Temper Mao says, uh, what streaming app do you use? That would be OBS. Just the, the raw version of OBS. Do I have a Chavez? Let's see. Uh, we're, because everyone hears my impressions, it's time for them to hear your impressions. Oh, God. Here we go. I just looked at this one. I was just holding it. No, you weren't. You were holding this one. No, I just switched to this one. You handed me this one. I don't know. I like this one, too. It's not bad. It's not bad. I am very big on proportions of blade to handle, and the proportions here are much better than a lot that I've seen. That in in Brandon's collection, at least. I have a pretty large one. Um, okay. How like, about... Like this one? Oh, wait, it's not this one. Where is it? Oh, no, this one is one of them I don't like either. I don't like this one either. I love this one. So this is the Urban EDC Nessie. And I actually have a discount code. Um, let me pull that out because this is actually a pretty decent discount code. Um, the reason why I like this is because it reminds me a lot of the scapegoat specifically, except it's a flipper. So the discount code for this is, I believe, 10% off. Let me double check here. Uh, no. Yeah. EDM 10. EDM 10 for the, which version is that? EDM 10 for... No, yeah, EDM 10, 10% off. And then EDM 5 is 5% off. So use EDM 10 on Urban EDC's website if you're looking for a Nessie. So this one's good. Um, like, like, I love the action of it and the way it feels is really nice, but just the blade shape is not my thing. I mean, it's very functional though. Yeah, but like it's if really you want to get stabbed, this thing would hurt more than any of these, if you think about it. Maybe not, maybe not this say, one. Okay, how about this say. one? How about this one? I like that a lot. 
I like the blade shape. Uh, you need to focus. It's dead center right there. there we go. Yep. I like this one a lot. The size is really good. I mean, it's a big knife. That's not the scapegoat. Yeah, but it's definitely not the scapegoat. That, yeah, this is the scapegoat, right? <laughs> Way different, but still super solid. Um, the Legenda, yeah, this is the Wux Legenda. Look at how thick that blade stock is. Like, um, there's a good comparison. Here's the bug out blade stock. <laughs> it's like literally two to three times thicker than the bug out. And then let's see, how's the action on it? Cons uh, Conspirator which one? Yeah. Con so Conspirator, Altus, or Elementum. Um, I would probably say the Conspirator, which is this one. Yeah, Conspirator is super solid. Um, Constipation. <laughs> what are you, Ghost Panda? What are you, man? I can actually turn this up a little bit. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Mr. Crab, what awesome person, Mr. Crab. Would you rather go on a date with Squidward or Mr. Krabs? I'm not answering that question. That's weird. <laughs> Squidward, Mr. Krabs would make me pay and order too much. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, just, I just wouldn't answer that question. You know what knife you guys should all you can't. Not everyone can get this. Every, everyone can try. <laughs> try is the key word here. I am curious if tomorrow's knife is going to beat this one out. That's how, that's how know, you're hyped in love up. with that one. At, mark my words, guys. I think it might be better than the Anthem. Maybe. Maybe. The Anthem is just, it, it, it's just been a staple. Like, there's nothing that beats it. Okay, Model 18 or the Anthem? Anthem. That's because you've carried this thing for like a year and a half. No, I've I've felt your 18, but the Anthem is still better. I mean, like, just feel it. I like, have felt it. I've played with it a lot. I yeah, mean, yeah, it's just too good. It's just also too good. way more it's worn just, in. So like, it's just too good. Okay. Stop with Stop the Stop it. Yeah, yeah, I knew exactly, that would trigger. Exactly. I, I knew it would trigger Ian because he, he wants an Anthem. <laughs> um, Brayden, no, I can't. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Ghost man, I want the Chavez. I, there <laughs> I was the a Chavez. titanium one. When we were at Blade Show and I was going to buy it, but I regret not buying it now. Yeah, you should have bought it. I should have bought it. Everyone loves the Chavez. Like, it's so nice. There's nothing that beats it. Yeah, but the scapegoat specifically. If they had a Tonto version? There is a it? Tonto version. What do you mean? Version? That was a Tonto version. I don't it know. was. It was a, it I was a Tonto. I the same blade no. shape. No, it didn't. Adam says, let's see that JRW tray again. I just got here late. Okay, let's show you. Let's show you right now. So Jamie sent these out because I was doing video work for him. We saw him at um, Blade Show Texas with these. And there, there it is. It's just super clean. Like I have a gray one sitting right here. And this one has a bunch of stuff in it. But or on it would that be in it or on it on it and then you can swap these mini trays out right so you can use this as a separate caddy so just hold that and then i got this thing here so if you guys want to see like a two-tone here's like the gray and the orange it's just so clean i, I really dig it Balin wanted one. He's like, I sent yeah, him the video to review it. One? He's like, oh, yeah, what? You're going to have to go buy one. What do you mean? Are they... Um, you better. You better. <laughs> we, we talked so, about this at Blade Show. Yeah, the, I mean, I just I just really like it. I mean, they're going for 180? 150 to 180. 180 with the curator top included and then 150 i believe um without it but yeah they're just really good i'm gonna do a full review on these actually and then there's the link for it since you're asking where you can purchose it oh i already have that yeah i, there I you had go. it copied from earlier so boom there you go that's where you get it but yeah i mean um i have one up in my room on my <laughs> nightstand and then that's the black one yeah the black one 
Damn, this is wearing so well. It looks like gold. It's a little darker. Tactile side click. You know, so I love people use it when I, they're signing paperwork and they love it. They're like, damn, this is a nice pen. Really? Yeah, I feel like it's got some weight to it. It writes really nice. Everyone loves it. What refills? This is a pilot G2. That's a pilot. Did you put in a G2? No, that's just a pen in it. Oh, so your it's favorite rice. type of pen. Yeah, the rice. Well, the 12 pens are my favorite, but. Deadpool says, hey man, I'm looking for an EDC. What do you what do you mean you're looking for an EDC? 75 likes. Holy crap, guys. You guys are going crazy. Concealed fixed blade. A concealed fixed blade. Um let me go grab it. <laughs> TI, yeah, it's got a titanium pocket clip. Focus without me being in the camera. And then the button is also titanium on the side there. Oh, it's not focusing now. So this one is really cool. Um, it's the saw, what is that called? It's on here. The sock, the sock P, there we go. So, I mean, if you're looking for something that's like combat ready, then yes, this one's great. It does not have two edges, just one edge. But yeah, this thing has been pretty sweet. Um, this is actually what Ashley carries when we when she goes on walks, or I guess when we go on walks, because she doesn't want to pew pew. And then if you're looking for like a really damn good fixed blade. I don't think you can conceal that though. <laughs> it's too big. I mean, it's, it's so good though. But it's massive. Oh, man, anonymous. How long is the blade? Like seven inches? No, Six that's inches? like five, four, that's not, four no, inches. Not. It is. I promise. No way. Do you know no, your measurements? Not, Actually, we can seven. look. We have a ruler here. So each one of these is an inch. So, so it's oh, yeah, four inches. See, I was talking no, all five the way inches. Back to here. Five, five inches. Five and a half inches. See, I was, I was talking about all the way to the back of it, to the handle. Six, five and a half, six. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, the entire thing is probably like a solid ten. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. Massive. Definitely not average, you know. The mini Scandi. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking like neck knives, the only neck knife I have is the CRKT Minimalist. Oh my God. I, I'm going to have to clean this up. Should tomorrow. do a shipwreck on a copper tactile pen. That would be cool. We can. That would be we can. Cool, actually. I should hit them up and do it. I've already seen people do it on YouTube. So, I mean, if you guys are trying to see that cool but the next thing i'm going to be shipwrecking or attempting to shipwreck is going to be this guy so the run five bronze aluminum that one's way worn compared to we'll see ones. we'll see yeah i mean this thing i mean you can just see that difference there um which i actually should do you can't shipwreck this can you yes you can we should try it no why not it looks too clean for now. I mean, do you want to learn how to shipwreck something? I mean, I watched your videos on how to do it so I could do it. <sighs> but I don't want to spend three days doing it like you did. Apparently, Milan does. Uh, Temper says, I have a Damascus knife, but I think the Chavez looks better. <laughs> Everyone loves... I told you to buy the damn Chavez. You should have just done it. It was a well, 229. If I, I would have bought that, I wouldn't have gotten the... Redition. Okay. Redition. I think that's how you say it. Looks like a CRKT squid. Uh, whoa, I don't even own a squid, do I? No, I don't own a squid. No, 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 no. Love the copper. Um, let's see, I, I think we read all of them. Okay, so we red fat carbon. What is your coolest knife, Braden asked. What is my coolest knife? What's my coolest knife, Bill? That's dependent on person, I think. Like a lot of people would say the Chavez, but at the same time you have your new Microtech, or or the Anthem, or the coolest knife in my possession would be. Oh, it's it's you, this you need one. It's a hundred percent this one. I need to show you this. It's its favorite knife is its coolest knife. You know. It's not focusing again. What was it? Mohammed, thanks for welcome the to the Minimalist Club. 
Have I seen this one? I don't no. think I've seen this one. You gotta be hella careful with that. Be extremely careful with that, please. And do not get your finger prints all over the blade. Oh, oh I saw this plate and I knew. No, no, leave that, leave that in the box. I was gonna no. look at it. It's a face blade. If you guys didn't see the shorts on this, I think I pulled it out in one live stream. Oh, the mirror finish. That's a best Nelly uh, Marfion custom collab. So this thing has a two finger nuck built into it. G10 scales and you, get, you gotta go like right here in the middle. There we go. Mirror polished blade. And it is worth 4,700. I think it's yours. No, that's not mine. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna buy that. No way. It doesn't even go back in the sheath because it gets stuck and stabs it. Careful, careful, please. Okay. What's my most durable knife? Um, that would probably be the Fix the Domus in Crewwear. Zala says, I bought a Chavez Ultramar Rendition Street Tonto for 220 and I don't... 220 dude. That is not bad. Okay. Just, just, yeah, just start moving it back over for me. I don't want to clean it up after this. Apparently, I'm a secretary. I just... Yeah, Balen's actually going to turn into my manager pretty soon here. He's, he's pretty much going to be my manager. That's a, yeah, Brad says that's a great deal. Yeah, absolutely, man. That is an insane deal. It's not even a great deal. That's like an insane deal. Segulicious. Um, what is your biggest knife? That would be Helga. Because Helga cut me. It's, it's over here. See if you can find it. It's, yeah, I think it's in there. Maybe. Well, we just use the knife shield. We just use the knife shield. Um, there's there's Helga. So this is Helga. Let me see your bug out, villain. Anthony, welcome to the Minimalist Club. Um, <laughs> can I even like it? Yeah, there we go. Bug out and <laughs> Cold Steel 4 Max Scout. Segulus just says, nice, y'all, my favorite YouTubers. Dude, I appreciate it, man. Is this thing still sharp? Let's test. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, she's still very sharp. See, I think that would do the most damage out of one knife. I mean, if you baton shit, that's literally what this is for. Yeah, this is still bigger. <laughs> How big is the blade on, on this again? Let's see. Five inches. It's a five inch blade. I should like literally just leave this thing out because everyone always asks, what's the biggest knife that you own? <laughs> or biggest folder. Yeah. I mean, there's a Espada XL from Cold Steel and it's like that, but I'm never gonna use that thing. Temper Mao with the $1 super chat. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Boom. Okay, um, Zala says, I bought it from a secondary market and props to the seller because he kept the box too. Damn, dude. Damn. Why did you let Slippery Fingles Fingers handle that beautiful? I'm not the one that lost the screw. He flipped it over and dropped the screw. That's not me. That's him. And he drops shit all the time. All the time. No, I don't. Yes, you, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> no. Have y'all broke a knife? If so, how many did you break? I've never broken a knife, dude. I mean, you can make a video on it. It's, yeah, that's actually what I'm gonna do with the lightning OTF, wherever the hell that went. I think it's back there somewhere. Yeah, it's somewhere. It's some, oh my God, there's some, there it is. It's right there. It's gone. What do you mean it's gone? Oh, it's right here. Oh. So um, Blade Ops gave me permission to beat the living shit out of this. And this will happen. Temper with another $2 super chat. Dude, what is up, man? I appreciate you. 
So I'm gonna probably need Balin to help me film this, but we're gonna run this over with the Forerunner. We're gonna throw it as fucking as high as we possibly down. can. Um, and then, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're not gonna pop the tire. We'll see. We'll see. I didn't actually think that far ahead, but um, I wanna see how durable this thing is because it's only 35 bucks for a Lightning OTF. And if you want to get into an OTF for like no money. It was like 30 bucks? 35? Cause this is, oh no, this one is 30. Cause it's not the elite. But yeah, I actually have like four of these. <sighs> okay. Right, do you have any swords? I've been trying to convince him to get a katana for so long and I want one, but he won't get one. Uh, what am I going to do with the sword, bro? Have it on display. It'd be so cool to have. Where am I going to put it? Like someone's going to hop on my channel and be like, yo, who is this weeb? Nah, I who is this I weeb? want a katana. I want a true katana. They're going to be like, yo, who is this weeb? Why does he have a katana in the back? He is a knife reviewer or EDC. What? The, the katana will make it so that I am absolutely zero minimalist. Like my bar is like yeah, but we're also trying to down shit. low. Yeah, I, well, still, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do a katana, man. He should do it. I'll get a katana. Temper with another $1 super chat. And the $2 mm. one. Yes. Boom. Just going ham, bro. Just going ham. Timmy, I've broken eight knives. How are you breaking knives like that? Lyle and Alyssa, yeah, we're in Salt Lake City, Utah, specifically. I'm gonna start. So if you come to Blade Show West, or Blade West, we'll be there. Yeah. Local. Okay, guys, it looks like our time is up. I got to start cleaning and then uh, tend to Ashley when she's off. So I really appreciate you guys. Phelan, you have any last moments? Nope. No. Okay. Tune in Guys, if you want giveaways. Yep. Tune in. 200K is coming very soon. Maybe next week. Hopefully. We'll see. And then um, if you guys want to join in on the Patreon, I'll be posting there. I'll, I'll try to post as often as I can there. It's usually once every day, um, if not more. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go there. Guys, have a fantastic Easter weekend. Peace out. We'll see you on the next one. And see, man, Friday night, Saturday mornings. Uh, no, no, no more Saturday mornings. Oh, no. Every Friday night, Friday come night. here. Yep, Friday night, anywhere between like 5 to 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time.